This is the Business Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. Dr. Andy Garrett is our guest today. He's a friend. He is a leader. Uh, he's making an impact on his world in a big way, an impact in the leadership world as well. You know, you and I have known each other for a long time, and, and you know, for the first while, you didn't mention it to me, and I was just helping you talk through some positioning and some things like that that I do with 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 clients and friends, and and from a marketing and from a, a product development standpoint. And you're building this amazing, amazing, life changing uh, course right now. And, uh, you know, you didn't tell me for several months. I kind of had to drag it out of you <laughs> about who your grandpa was. And, and just there's so many lessons and stories that tied back to it um, that, you know, I can attest that it was not, it's not something that you've ever uh, uh, used as a calling card. You've been very appropriate. And, and uh, in fact, you've, you've uh, not disclosed a whole lot <laughs> about your personal relationship with your grandfather. So, Well, I, I appreciate that. And, and, and I do realize that I'm creating a course on authenticity and, and really trying to position, you know, how well I understand this, that not sharing this part of my life wouldn't be particularly authentic on my part. So, um, you know, one of the things about my grandpa that was just crystal clear and I was going through and reading back, he's, you know, he does have two biographies um, written about him. And I was kind of going over some of the notes the other day and I've been actually reading the stories to my kids at night, which um, I'm sure is not exactly the children's stories <laughs> they're looking for. Uh, but it, it's it's really fun for me to be able to share, you know, the stories because they didn't get a chance to meet him. Unfortunately, he he, uh, he passed away actually right before Abby and I got married. Um, mm -hmm. So and uh, but he had such crystal, he had such clarity on what was important to him. And he had an incredible amount of energy. The guy would get up at like 4.30 in the morning and he would, you know, I think go to church daily. He would do his prayers. He would eat breakfast with the kids, go build a, a, a one of the fastest growing, you know, fast food uh, restaurants in, in the nation. And then he'd make sure he got home every night to have dinner with his kids. And he just packed so much in the day. And not only that, but he was involved with a ton of charities and philanthropic causes and was very active socially. And I look back and think, you know, man, how can I bottle up that energy? And there's a there's a great great quote that I ran across the other day from uh, Simon Sinek in his his book Start with Why, where he differentiates the difference between energy and charisma. And he says, you know, energy is something you can get from a good night's sleep or a cup of coffee, but charisma is something that can only come from having absolute clarity and conviction in your purpose and why. And when you can be able to articulate that and you have consistency with that purpose. That's where charisma, you know, really comes from and has the power to inspire and lead. Mm -hmm. And and I I do love me a good cup of coffee. So I will say if Starbucks ever comes up with a cup of charisma, I will You're definitely in. <laughs> be, be drink that. But and that and that's I say that because I look back and and you know, that is why I think my grandpa had the energy that he did. Um, he just was so clear on what mattered to him 